Jared Polenfronos photo.com and welcome to the top five from september 24th and 25th you're also going to get a new theme this post is brought to you by adorama picks adoramapix.com uh it's where we can get the actually pretty inexpensive prints they run some great specials from time to time they just finished up that special on those 8x10 custom books that you can make uh they're really cool i have a lot of them and that's really it on those guys but yeah so let's get into the top five you're gonna get the new theme i'm starting to announce the theme on thursdays uh, like Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, so that it gives the people you guys overseas uh, some more time because I know that you're ahead of us over there in the UK, six hours, five hours, something along those lines, and even further ahead of us in Australia. So now this will give you the opportunity to know what the theme is and be prepared, and you can go out and shoot. So here's what we're doing with the theme from now on. Uh, Friday. You can start shooting Friday. You got Saturday, Sunday. We added Monday and Tuesday for the people that can't get out and shoot on the weekend for whatever reason. I thought it was important to give you two extra days to go and shoot the theme. And then you have until Thursday evening, which we kind of closed it around 6 p.m., the section. Um, We close it so I can prepare to make the video that goes up on Friday. Uh, So, yeah, let's just get right into it. Let's go into last week's winner. And then we'll get into the top five from this week and announce the new theme, as well as the critique, which you can check out the critique as well. Last week's winner was number three, Killer Kenny Cat. Kill Kenny Cat. I just love this photo. And we all know that I love this photo. I did point it out. I hope I didn't, like, push people in that direction. But I am getting myself a print of this because somebody's going to be sending me the raw file of it so that I can make a print of it. And I can't wait to do that. So congratulations, You are winning a custom, not a custom, but you're winning a hardback book from adoramapix.com. So congratulations on that. And one person who voted will also be contacted. One person who who voted via Facebook comments down below will be contacted because they want a book as well. And let's get into the top five from the theme of walls. You guys did an amazing job. We had 49 pages of posts. We had just a ton, a ton, a ton of entries. There's a lot of really, really good ones. I have a big uh, critique section with some honorable mentions and all of that good stuff. And I had to pare it down to five. I actually had six. And I had to yank one out and basically decide which one was getting pulled and which one was staying. So let's dive into this and go through in no particular order. Number one is Amber Herrera. This is a cool photo. It was taken at a craft place, I believe it said, and these are obviously little birdies. Hello, little birdies. We're bluebirds. Are they Twitter birds or are they just birds? Anyway, they're just birds. And there's something about repeating images and repeating things in photos. Just look at this. You've got these birds going all across, front and back, in focus and out of focus. It's just a great visual The step and repeat thing seems to work very well. It's like symmetry. That's what we like to see. I love the color. I love the blues. I love the off yellows and stuff down here. I just thought this was, it just grabbed me when I looked at it. So that's the number one one. And this is Giorgio number two. Giorgio number two. This, this looks like a photograph. It's a photograph. I can't get back. It looks like a painting, but it's a photo of uh, it's a, it's a memorial and it's just an incredible image it's the again the repeating stuff just the repetitive i mean you've got the shadows here you just see the shadow 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 and then you've got the sunlight 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 you got different colors different tones and i like that it's not black and white i like that it was kept in color because you can get the feel for what it was like when they were there so it's just all of this repeating stuff is really grabbing me and you know I liked it, and that's why I picked it. I thought it was well worth being in the top five. And number three, I just, I I love these type of things. I believe they're, well, I don't know if it's actually hanging on the wall, but it gives me the impression that it's not hanging on the wall, that the person is standing up above this, photographing down. I like the dimension. I like the feel of it because you can see that the pot is sticking out. You've got the flowers inside. It's very symmetric. It's even left to right, front to back, up and down, all of that good stuff. The colors grab me. The colors are cool. And I just I just felt that when you look straight down and all the angles are straight and the angles aren't off, 
it kind of draws you into the image and that's why I picked this image uh, so that's from zoomy pin zoomy pin and the next one I don't know why it's not centered I will have to go center it later is JR photo 56 World War II reenactment. Let me say something. When you guys are putting photos up, I almost didn't pick this one because it was a small image. And when I went on the Flickr to grab the bigger one, it said it was private. So try not to leave your images on private because I can't grab them to showcase them here uh, in the critique section or in the top five. But I, I, you know, I love this one nonetheless. A World War II reenactment. Uh, you can see bullet holes in this helmet, this World War II helmet. And just what a spectacular job in processing this is a thick black and white it's really gritty it's really 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 done well i mean i get a feel that this was taken back in the 1940s just with how thick and how contrasty it is great job on this great light great moment captured just i mean those reenactments are great to go to i think it's great practice how many times how many times can i say great ding great but anyway i really like this one it just it just is really good and, and the fifth one which is the last one which i went back and forth with what to pull out and what not to pull out and i kept coming up to this photo and i couldn't get rid of it i couldn't get rid of this photo and i know it doesn't have much to do with walls and let me just say again the 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 weekend photo section you don't have to follow the theme the theme is there for people to you know give them some help uh, with an idea of what to photograph for the weekend but i don't pick based off of the theme i pick based off of images that grab me you know but the theme is there sometimes there's more images there could be four images about the theme and one about not and other times there's two or three about the theme and a couple that aren't but this from um Paylone, I, I how can you how can you deny this photo just you look at it and it's the joy of scoring a goal I can't say we've all been there, but I, I've been there. I've scored goals in both hockey, uh, soccer, uh, you know, hit the ball well in baseball and on bowling. You throw a strike and you get all excited. This is excitement. The kids just love going out and playing. And just what a great, there's a great moment that was captured here. The Hands in the air. I mean, what can you say other than go? I hope I didn't wake up Lil. But anyway, I can't wake her up because she doesn't have her hearing aid in. Um, I just I just thought this was an amazing image. It just it captured a moment that is just beyond excitement and the jubilance of scoring a goal. And even the kids in the background are really, really, really happy. So that's your top five for this week. If you want to see the critique, that's come you can click here, see the critique or wherever you'll see down below how you can get to the critique but let's get into the theme and i'll announce it right now the theme is round 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 is many things it could be a person it could be a hair it could be head uh head it could be a, a wheel it could be chrome from a car wheel it could be a steering wheel what things are round you know race tracks are round i mean i don't care is it an oval it's your interpretation of what is round there's circles there's all different things round it's all around us so you know just think this time don't think outside of the box think outside of the round aka the circle but it's your interpretation and that's what's great about this weekend section you never know what you're gonna get whether it follows the theme or it doesn't follow the theme you guys have done a tremendous job uh, just weekend at week and week week in and week out going and getting great photographs um so i see some people week after week in here which is fine but you know I, I just love seeing what you guys are creating so here's the top five please vote down below for the winner because the winner will win some free stuff from adorama picks and you also get entered to win some stuff as well so that's it that's the top five the new theme is round so be sure to post your stuff in the forum remember that it must be taken friday at any time on Friday now. It's not after work. We're just making it simple. It can be taken on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Tuesday, once Tuesday's over, it's gone. Because Tuesday's gone. Tuesday's gone. The Metallica version. Uh, and once Tuesday's gone, if you post after that a photo that you have... It, if it's a photo that was taken after Tuesday, it will be taken down. But you have until Thursday evening on the East Coast here to post your images to be entered. 
Have fun. Good luck. Get out there and shoot some round Jared Poland. Fro knows photo.com. See ya. 